you will never, ever guess what happened today. Okay, so for some reason, I hit a thousand subscribers today. So thank you. That is what this whole little video was about. Um, I'm in the process of getting the heck out of this apartment and moving into another apartment. So I got everything all packed up to include my lights and my ring light and everything that I need to properly make a video because, you know, bitch got to be proper. But I could not uh, hesitate or wait to say thank you so much for pushing the channel over a thousand subscribers. And believe it or not, how many uh how many of these subscribers came from Sebastian Nim when I was talking about the man from 3036? I'm going to tell you, it was damn near 800 of my thousand subscribers uh came from that video. It's like 107,000 views on that video right now. So thanks again for that as well. And uh, I might need to be rethinking my content for a minute. So uh, that's one thing that I wanted to mention. And uh, by the way, for everybody who is here who wasn't sure, Sebastian is fake. <laughs> Sebastian is fake. And I'm finding out that a lot of you, <laughs> you know, an astronomical amount of you, uh, believe in conspiracies. And now, before you get all ugly about the word that I chose, conspiracy, that is exactly what it is. It's it's a scientific conspiracy, a conspiracy, uh, political conspiracies. There are all types of conspiracies, and that right there would be an example of a scientific conspiracy. And I'm not shaming anybody because I believe in some too. And in fact, history has conspiracies that have been proven to be 100% real or really on the cusp of being 100% real. Uh, we got uh, the Operation Paperclip, Nazis in America, uh, MK Ultra, when the CIA was uh, trying to create a truth serum, but in truth, they were trying to do mind control on people and make them some Manchurian candidates uh, and who knows if the CIA ever really stopped conducting those tests. You know, they, they said, yeah, we quit doing that. We, we quit giving people LSD uh, without their permission because that's a thing. Uh, but who knows? They may still be using some type of technique to do or to uh, explore mind control. Also... Uh, the big one right now is the existence of aliens. So lots goes into that uh, conspiracy theory because the Department of Defense is supposed to be disclosing some, uh, some evidence of UFOs. And before we all get excited, a UFO is only an unidentified flying object doesn't necessarily mean that it is a alien craft. Although we have a uh, Luis Elizondo, I hope I'm saying his name, Luis Elizondo. He uh, is high level and he says, yes, we have found otherworldly crafts. Um, I would like to see evidence of that before I believe it, or maybe just do a little bit more looking into it. And then like Bob Lazar, if you guys are, are hip on your UFO conspiracies, Bob Lazar had some uh, some things to say in the past. And he was pretty much uh, ostracized from the... Uh, he was ostracized for saying that he had uh, proof or he had been exposed to alien aircrafts. Uh, then there was the Doctor Strangest and Valiant Thor. And no, I am not talking about a Marvel movie. And if you guys would like for me to talk about any of these topics, if there's something that you would like for me to do a deep dive in, please make a comment. Uh, but the Doctor Strangest and the Valiant Thor thing goes all the way back to Eisenhower being the president. Uh, so that's that was a big thing. That was a big uh, uh, conspiracy. And... 
if the if the Department of Defense is releasing information that says that we have been in contact with an alien race, then it will pretty much substantiate everything to me. And and then I feel a little funny even waiting for the government to uh, to acknowledge that there are uh, aliens or any of these conspiracies because you either trust the government or you don't. And me, you know, because I'm black and we know about the uh, Tuskegee <laughs> syphilis and all the other experimentation that the United States government did on black people uh, in the past. And they did it without black people's knowledge. So all of these things is making me say, do you really trust the government? You know, I trust them like a little bit, but when it comes to secrets, I know that these people guard secrets more than anything else. So I am uh, hesitant to say that any of these things are not true. Remember the CIA and crack. I grew up in Gary, Indiana, and it was hit hard by the, the crack epidemic. And to find out that the CIA uh, was distributing cocaine in that time, the very cocaine that was used to make crack. So there we have that, huh? I don't want to I don't want to go on for too long today. I just really wanted to come in and say thank you, give you an idea of some of the things that we will be discussing. Um I'm going to have to do a live stream or something for my Trekkies because I know I fell off the face of the earth, but uh crazy things have happened and I have to move. So, <laughs> I got to move. And uh also pfft, I'm going to be a grandmother soon, my first grandchild. So that's for hence why I've, I'm doing the gray hair thing. I'm, I'm like getting practice in for uh, being the the sexy grandma. <laughs> this grandchild is going to be like, Grandma, could you please stop making these men blow at you? So, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm very excited about that as well. I'm trying to make sure that I have everything that I wanted to talk about talked about. Um, so if I mention something again, if I mention something that you are unsure of, or you want to hear more about, or you have any ideas for future videos, shoot those down in the comments. I'd appreciate it very much. And if you like, um, you could go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon. That is at patreon.com slash after the snap. I would appreciate it greatly if you uh, can contribute to the show in any manner. But, uh, the biggest thing that you can do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and su subscribe to After the Snap for more of this content. Uh, Star Trek people, I know y'all waiting on, on episode three of my worst in Trek, and that's coming. And I got a few little, little surprises for that as well. Um, what else I got? Yeah, that's it. That's all. I don't have nothing else. And uh, so, so if I mention something you'd like to hear more about, comment below, subscribe for more, and rest in peace to DMX and Black Rob. Whoa. Peace.